Sweet. My friends, welcome. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Satisfactory, and I'm starting a new game, and I'm going to call it Biscuit Factory, because this is the one that I'm going to have, where I'm trying to create a factory the size that Biscuits made his. Uh, my factory is going to be using this lovely picture as my guide. Uh, so I apologize if it's not perfect. Um, so Chris, don't get upset if it's not exactly right, but it's as close as I'm going to make it. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to skip intro, since if people want to see the intro, they can play the game themselves. And I'm going to jump right into it. And what I might do for you guys, so you're not all having to wait around for me to do every single thing in the beginning, I'm going to jump ahead to the point where I actually have foundations, because that's when the fun actually begins. So I will see you guys in a second. Alright, and with a quick 20 minutes worth of work, uh, I am ready to get this party started. Huzzah! Milestone reached. You have unlocked All several right. structures aimed to provide the first needed to build yes, yes, basic yes. factory infrastructure yep. and improved overview. All Building right. these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Go seven. Constructor goes eight, that's right. Okay, now. Now I basically have to rip up everything that I have put down to get it all inside. So the general idea that I'm going to go with is the same principle that Chris was working with, with his factory. Oh, no, not that one. Um, all of the miners and everything, obviously outside of the building, um, no issues with that. All the processing and storage is going to go inside, and he did have it so um, so all of his storage was inside, but some things such as the power, I'm going to just have it as outside. Um, obviously everything is going to die in a second, and all of my infrastructure is completely dismantled, but I've got everything hopefully set up in a way that I can very quickly and easily just put it all back. Uh, I don't want that one, I don't think, to start. Let's go for two. Two seems about the right height. Uh, yeah, two seems about the right height. Um, so, I'm going to pull up the picture on my other screen so I can see what I'm doing um, and eh, there we go lined up from what I milestone remember milestone exchange concluded fix it for thank you Ada eh. ah, I'm run out of concrete that's all right do that Should be hopefully a smidge in here. Um, a small smidge. That's right. I will get the hub up and running again to very quickly just have power going here. So concrete can be made. There we go. The rest can just wait for now, because what I'll do is I'll get it set up, there we go, that's, oh no, we don't want that one, we want, there we go, so three, oh no, wait, it was three long, yes, and that's the corner, so three that way, uh, 14 total, so 8 this way. Uh, how do we change building type? There we go. Zoop. 
so. Just do three for now since we don't have the concrete for the rest of it. And I think. Uh, I think I have to go. I think I have to put all of that here anyway. And I th think, actually, <laughs> at my original plan of being the ones was right so let's just delete all of this and that guy because we don't need him and we will uh, line it up first about there, there we go eh eh three that way This isn't lined up at all. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, that looks a little better. And if this isn't lined up again, I'm going to be so cranky. Okay. <laughs> it seems fine. Um, just to be safe, I'm going to go one there, so... That'll be one, two, three, and then we can go along here for that many until we get more concrete. Okay. Eh. Sure, that much will do. That'll be fine. Uh, for now, let's just plonk. There, sort, put a few things in, so I can move as much of this as I can into here. There we go, that's empty, perfect. And then you go in, sort, sort. Sorted. <sighs> Alright, I might save you guys the pain of having to watch me wait for everything to uh, pile up in terms of concrete, uh, so I will do another jump ahead for you guys. Okay, so I have put down the, at the very least, outline, just ignore that for it, not Myrtle, uh, of the factory. I had to very quickly put up another one of these so I could get plates because the foundations now require some of these iron plates as well as concrete. So I had to uh, yeah, get that all adjusted. Uh, as you can see, I had to increase my concrete production. I got a new resource over there, uh, which was a pure node, which I didn't actually know existed. Uh, so it's coming down. I've got this elaborate system of splitters and mergers uh, to essentially bounce the load between these two machines. Uh, currently this one is getting more stuff, but that one will eventually get the overflow of this line and etc. and all work itself out. Um, but for now, I have the bare bones basics of Chris's factory set up. Uh, I will get the iron going properly. Um, having it all facing the appropriate direction. But for now, I think that should do me, uh, at least as an intro into this one. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see me actually do this, or if you're happy just watching me and Biscuits play our other factory, or if you have other ideas of how you want to do stuff. But essentially, what I currently have is the footprint of the entire thing here. Uh, I don't know if I screwed up somewhere or if I didn't take a proper measurement, but I couldn't quite get this rock to not clip in. Um, but essentially it's gonna be this, two stories, um, four walls high for each story. Uh, all of the stuff I can fit into it will fit in and we'll see how far into the game we can go. 
Uh, all the things such as power, I'm going to keep outside of the factory itself, uh, so there'll be like a separate area for power, but since Chris had, I think, this whole area he set up for just his power needs, I don't feel bad at all for doing the same thing. Uh, and I'm once I get stairs, I will do the same thing as Chris, is put the staircase inside. Um, but until then, oh, wrong button. If I want to go upstairs, I will have an outside staircase. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we can get all the way to the end, have everything accomplished, and create things that are a little bit, uh, a little bit more streamlined than what Chris has done. But on that note, I suppose I should say farewell, my friends in the future. Uh, as Chris certainly loves all the YouTubey people saying and doing, uh, be sure to like and subscribe the video. <laughs> Alrighty, but uh, on that note, I am going to go. Have fun. Bye.